Hello and welcome back to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Today I'm going to be showing you my jerk chicken recipe. Now chicken isn't something that I've done on the channel much um, to be honest but it's something that I want to do a lot more of. So we're going to be doing quite a few chicken recipes uh, coming up over the next few months and this is an absolute banger of a jerk chicken recipe and I love it when you get the skin really really crispy and it goes that lovely charred color you just cannot beat it so anyway let's jump straight into the video and let's head back 24 hours where we're going to make up the marinade over on the bench marinade i'm going to go in with a couple of tablespoons of rapeseed oil half an onion chopped up some salt some black pepper a little bit of nutmeg cinnamon garlic soy sauce uh, white wine vinegar and two scotch bonnets chopped up there so you can add more if you want to add a little bit more spice to it so let's now grab our spoon and give that a little mix together and that is smelling good here is our spatchcock chicken so what i'm going to do is just make some incisions all the way along the chicken breast this is going to really let that marinade get into it and we're just going to do the legs <clears throat> then what we're going to do is grab this chicken pop it into a bag quite a large bag we're just going to pour our beautiful mixture in over the top that all over it and then we're going to pop that into the fridge for 24 hours before we cook it okay 24 hours on let's get that big green egg fired up so we're going for direct cooking and we're going to be aiming for about 200 degrees okay and we've just got the grill set up direct cooking one side of it's hot so let's get that spatchcock on Put that straight on the grill just like so what you can also see is I've just added those skewers in, which really makes it easy to flip when you need to. So we're just gonna close the lid down on that. Also, this is some of our marinade, um, which I've just blended. And we're just gonna close that down and let that heat warm through. And all I've done is just give it a little flip over. And that's literally what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna start basting it with the marinade again. Um, and we're gonna get a real nice flavor. And we're gonna go for some really nice crispy bits of charred skin on it. Okay, so we're just gonna give it another quick little turn. Straight over. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> so it doesn't always go smoothly and we have lost half the marinade, but it's not gonna stop me brushing some of this over the skin of it. Okay, so just gonna give it another flip over. Hopefully this time we don't knock the marinade over. <laughs> just like so. And we'll just close that back down and pop back. Okay, so we're just gonna give this another flip. You can see though, the color on this bird is really looking decent. So just give that a little flip over into the fire, just like so. Close that down, crisp up that skin. And there we go. That is what she's looking like after just leaving it on the grill to do its thing. It's probing nicely, got some nice crispy bits of chard on it. So let's get that on the bench and take a look. And there it is on the bench. You can see we've got that lovely crispy skin. Just garnished it with uh, some chives um, and some spring onions. If I'd had some chili, I would have done a little bit more chili on it as well. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Looking nice on how that's turned out. How good does that look? Absolutely incredible. And I've just smashed it and it's got that perfect little bit of heat to it. And if you want to get more heat out of it, then make sure you add some more of those Scotch bonnets. But for me, it was absolutely perfect. And we had it with a nice bowl of uh, Nando style rice. And that is just the perfect midweek little meal coming up to summer. Oh, just absolutely amazing. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, please 
like, subscribe to the channel, and join me next time for another edition of World's Grill Shack. Thanks for watching.